feel like you guys handled the third tonight? Uh, yeah, I mean, they kind of took it to us during the third. I think Perry kind of stood on his head there for us. Um, but, uh, yeah, we found a way to get the win. Yeah. It's been kind of a, a tough year for you goal scoring wise. How, did, how good did it feel to get one tonight? And what do you think has been behind that at times this year? Uh, yeah, it feels nice to get one. Obviously, uh, you know, missing breakaways aren't ideal. Um, getting goals called back aren't ideal. Um, but uh, yeah, and then that little stretch in the start of the season wasn't wasn't my greatest. So that's probably why where I'm at today. But uh, we just got to move past it and uh, you know, hopefully uh, create some chemistry here with Boone and Niels and uh, you know, hopefully we can keep scoring. You just mentioned Nylander. How cool is it to see what he's been able to do here in a short amount of time? Eight goals now. Yeah, he's already uh, almost caught me. Um, <laughs> yeah, he's got a great shot. He sees the ice really well. Um, you know, he's playing really well for us right now. He's working hard, and uh, that's why he's scoring goals. You know, he's doing all the right things, and uh, you know, it's great to see it. The chemistry that the first line had tonight. Um, what can you say about that? Look like he was yeah. in sync. Yeah, throughout the first and second, I thought had a lot of scoring chances, um, especially in that first. Felt like we were. Kind of in there's ozone pretty much the whole first when we got scored one there, but um, then the third period kind of uh, penalties and didn't get, didn't get out there too too much together as a line, but um, yeah, it's been uh, it's been great. I think we keep getting better and better each game, and uh, it's uh, fun to be a part of. So is that about Nylander that just makes him easy to play with immediately? I mean, you played with Boone most of the year, but how does he fit in with you guys? Yeah, I mean, yeah, he sees the ice really well. He's very, very skilled, and uh, he's got a great shot, like I said. So, um, you know, when you have a player like that, you know, you just got to find the, the right players to put him with. Uh, and, uh, you know, I think, uh, I mean, Boone are doing, I think all three of us are kind of doing a good job playing well together and complimenting each other. And uh, it's great uh, to see him playing the way he's playing. Yeah. Okay. 39 more saves for Tara Sauer. Are you guys, you guys getting some more and more comfortable playing in front of him? Uh, yeah, I mean, I don't think tonight was our best night in front of him. I think he kind of stood on his head and uh, kept us in that game and ultimately won the game for us, obviously. Um, but, yeah, I mean, he's a stud back there. Love uh, love when he's in the net. He's uh, he's such a good person, good good teammate, and, uh, you know, he's a really good goaltender too. So um, it's great to see him play like that and uh, happy he's on our side. Uh, did a, another busy night for you, 39 saves. Uh, do you prefer the busy nights, or would you rather have a, have a, a so on, uh, quote unquote, easy one? To uh, I mean, kind of like doesn't matter if you're like, like uh, get the win, you know. Uh, if it's gonna be like 10 or like 40 shots, it's actually um, doesn't matter. Like when we get the win. This was a different type of game in that it, it came in waves. You had moments where you weren't very busy, and then you had moments where you were really busy. Just talk about the the focus that it takes to stay into a game like that. Uh, like the simple, you know, this kind of sometimes happen, this kind of type of the game, you know. Uh, we just need to be, like, really focused, like, be, like, really confident, you know, and be ready, like, any any play, like, any rebound can, like, like switch at the game and other side. When they get it to a one-goal game there in the third, you just ramp it up at that point and just try to, you know, kind of, kind of go with whatever, uh, whatever will keep that that third goal from going in. Uh, yeah, just just try to to play simple, pre, pre, pre safe. I mean, like, be like, uh, did like the right decisions, be like the right movements. I mean, like, make like the save or didn't get the a lot of rebounds or like kind of like easy rebounds for our Ds to they can cover it and put it out of the our zone. You know, what's the last time you felt this good about your game? Has it been a while? Uh, yeah. Special was kind of hard like two years. Yeah, and now like feel really, really good. I mean the the main thing is like healthy full healthy and it's kind of like getting your like you know mind pretty clear and you're just keep working you know like like many things so yeah it's been a couple of years did you say yeah i mean like like now i feel really confident you know yeah. really really good it was a couple couple times in the last two seasons you know but it was up a lot of ups and downs and now just trying to climb it up I feel like we keep asking you some of the same questions, but are you 
continuing to pinch yourself for the way that this has gone eight goals now in 11 games? Yeah, uh, I mean, it's uh, it's just showing that uh, doing the right thing and uh, same mindset every game, you know, just got to try to work hard without the puck and when we got it, you know, try to create chances off that and uh, just trying to shoot and and, um, and go to that as much as possible. Yeah. What does it seem like for you to be on this team's top line with Pedro, with Jenner? That, that line obviously has an expectation to score. Yeah. That is responsibility, but also some fun, I would imagine. Yeah, I mean, uh, since I played with them in Montreal, I think we've had really good chemistry and uh, been in a lot in the Ozone and uh, building off it every game. Two unbelievable players, so you got to be ready whenever you're on the ice. Uh, they can find you wherever, and Booner's a scorer, so um, it's a great great opportunity and uh, just really happy in a, uh, that I can be on that line. Is it uh, surprising to you, or when you came up here, we, all, we talked so much about the opportunity that you were given. Did you take your game to another level because you knew you were going to be given every chance to play? Yeah, I feel like, I mean, I've been uh, been working for this, you know, the past year, uh, two years down there and in the A, and I've just been, like I said, stick to my plan. I know that if I get a chance, you know, I just got to take it, and uh, I know that I know I can play in this league. So, you know, obviously it's been a really big opportunity, and I'm really happy that, that they took a chance on me, and uh, it's been going great. So so I just got to keep keep it up. What does the support mean to you and the opportunity that's given to you for the, the ice time that you're getting? Yeah, I mean, it's obviously a huge, huge uh, to have trust uh, from the coach and uh, that puts you out there. Obviously, that gives you more confidence and, and the ability to play your game, even though you know you got to do the right things in the right times. And, um, yeah, it's huge. I mean, obviously, it takes the it gets your confidence level going up and uh, just got to stick the same way every game. Will scored again tonight. You scored tonight. It happened Thursday as well. I mean, what's going on with the brothers here? I uh, know, no idea. That's kind of funny. Uh, little, maybe a little competition who could score more here. But um, <laughs> I'm just kidding. Just re happy for him that he scored. Have you developed any rituals in this span? Are you listening to the same music on the way to the rink? Are you having the same pregame meal? Are you any any uh, things like that, that you've incorporated? I, know, I kind of just stick to the same what I've been doing the whole year. You know, so not really anything. Specific, just yeah. trying to do. I just do the same thing like every game day, though. It's working. Yeah. <laughs> you scored. Thanks. You scored more goals in your first eleven in a player's first eleven games with the Blue Jackets than anybody else. What does that mean to you? Uh, looking at all the players that have played, some pretty good goal scorers that have played yeah. for this franchise. Yeah, I mean that's crazy. Um, Line has scored a lot of goals, and uh, it's crazy that I, I'm, I guess that I, that I did that. Um, it's really happy, and that's awesome. I just got to keep doing what I've been doing. As you have nights where your goaltender is going to win a game for you, did how, how integral was uh, Tarasov in the way he played tonight, stopping 39? Yeah, he was our best player, for sure. Um, wasn't the, Let's put it this way. We've played much better than tonight, and we didn't win those games. A lot of times I said, hey, we've played a good game, but if we keep playing that way, we're going to win. Uh, tonight we needed Tarasov, and he played really well. Productive night for your first line. Can you explain how Nylander has been able to produce like this? I don't think even in your wildest dreams when that trade went down, you expected anything close to this from, from him. Nothing against him. but Well, if it wasn't my dreams, I don't remember. Um, you know what? We, he's a first-round pick. Um, we have uh, we have people in the organization that know him really well. He needed a chance to prove himself. He's taking advantage of it. And um, what is it like tonight? It's eight goals in eleven games, uh, but it's more than that. He's moving his feet. We we uh, first time he got got here. My message to him was I wanted. Wanted, I want you to. See, I want to see you compete. I want to see you skate, and when you have a chance, shoot the puck. Uh, what I didn't know was his brain. He has a good brain, and he can read the game offensively and defensively. I rely. I rely quite a bit on him defensively as well. So, um, we wanted to give him a chance. He's taking advantage of it. It's been a tough season for Gaudreau in terms of goal scoring. Um, what, what's behind that? Do you do you know what's what? Why the drop off for him this year? I think he hit 11 tonight, but I think that's a career low or on pace to be. I a think low. Um, early in the season, uh, getting his momentum going, uh, that was uh, that's a big piece of it. 
And what was the conversation like in deciding to put Wierenski on the right side? I don't think we've ever seen him on the right side before. Well, he's played on the right side before. Um, um, while we wanted to make sure we put Christy in a position uh, to succeed on the left side, um, but he's got the skills and the skating abilities to play on the right side. As Porty said, uh, Johnny's not had a lot of goals this year, but the way he controls the game with his, his passing, the way he, his vision, <laughs> you just kind of speak to that, just how much he controls the, the play. Well, he's, um, like I talk about Nylander and his, uh, his ability to read the game, Johnny Goodrell, like he's, a, he's not a big man, he's a smaller person. And for him to be able to sustain that kind of pace over years, uh, years after years, his ability to read the play and create space for himself is he's just above average, like by a mile. So um, I think the combination with Boone Jenner is helping him. But like I said, early in the season, it was just going his way or our way. But now it's going better. He's, uh, he's moving his feet. When he moves his feet, he's good. This is the second time very recently that Jake Bean has taken a shot, gone back to the room, and then come back out. How important, especially with the already injuries on the team, how important is it that he shows that toughness and, and comes back and plays through it? Let me tell you, Jake Bean, we don't talk about him enough. He's a, he's a, he's a true professional, prepares himself properly. He trains in the summer um, the best he can. He shows up at camp. A low maintenance guy. We know what to expect. He's blocking shots. The last few games you've seen quite a bit, making plays, taking hits to make plays. Um, he's defending well, and um, he's he's a guy we rely on quite a bit. Um, so to see him coming back was uh, was good for us.